The Life Changer is a debut novel that changes the narrative of life on campus, laced with underlying optimism. This book upholds the tenets of hope. Hello, how are you today? I am Flash Isaac. Today, we shall be going through our questions and answers under the Life Changer novel recommended by Jam. I recently released a video where I summarized the novel from chapter 1 to chapter 9 and I brought out words and synonyms, words and opposites and important facts from the novel. I was also able to answer a lot of questions from the novel. If you've not gone through those videos, I will share links to them. And to get the best out of this class, you need to have gone through the novel. If you've not, I will share a link for you to download the PDF. Go through the PDF, go through my summary videos, then you come back. That will make you enjoy this class. It will make you find this class very, very and extremely helpful. So, today, the life changer questions and answers. Where am I getting these questions from? From the book itself and the, uh, from Flash Learner's application. The Flash Learner's Jump application is the best and most advanced application to pass Jump in the sense that it contains, contains thousands of questions, likely questions, past questions, the Jump novel, summary and questions, literature textbooks recommended by Jump. It contains videos, so you can watch videos from the application. So it's amazing. Get it on Google Play Store or visit flashlearners.com to get it. The novel, The Life Changer, has how many chapters or how many chapters do we have in The Life Changer novel? Answer, nine chapters. And The Life Changer novel is based on what? Remember, John is OBJ, but if you know the correct option, so other options, they are, they are not your problem. It's for you to simply pick the correct option. The novel is simply based on life on campus. Life on campus, experiences in school. And according to the novel, what is the life changer? Admission is simply the life changer. Because when Omar, Omi's son, gained admission, he came home and broke the news. I have been admitted to study law. And the mom said, Wow, this admission you gained is a life changer. And the mom began to explain how admission is the life changer. It's simply because it changes you and it changes your life. That is the reason admission is referred to as life changer. Or the university generally is referred to as the life changer. And the next question here is, which story is the life changer novel centered around? The novel is simply centered around the story of Sama. Sama, S A L M A. Sama's experience in school. And the next question is The author of the novel studied Dash. It is simply mathematics education. Who were Umi's children? Umi is the storyteller in the novel. The novel was written by Khadija Abuba Kajali, but in the novel there was a central character, Umi, who was the one telling different stories. She told the story of Sama, then the husband told the story of the quiet neighbor. Then she also narrated her experience in school, how she went for clearance and how she encountered, she encountered Sama. And she was telling the children the stories. The first charge is Omar, O M O R, and Omar was 18 years old. The second was Tima, T E E M A H. The third was Jamila, J and the last one was Bint, B I N T. Bint equals five years old. And she actually started the story. She was telling her elder ones stories about what happened in school. How do a teacher? couldn't answer her French question. What was the highlight of chapter one? It's simply the mid story of her medicine teacher, the moms listening to their story, Omar's admission, the fact that there was no light 
for two days and their generator got bad. So they went outside to take fresh air. Then Omar explained his need for food and how admission is a life changer. So this is the scope of chapter one. Why did the mom pause to listen to their conversation? Simply because the laughter of the kids drew her attention. The mom was Umi, U-M-M-I. So the way the kids were laughing, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. And the fact that it was the five-year-old girl who was narrating the story, so it actually surprised the mom. So she came to peep. So that is it. That was why the mom had to go into their room. So normally, she isn't the type of mom who eats drops. And the next one says, she was telling her two sisters the story of her classroom encounter with their meddlesome social studies teacher. Which other word can replace meddlesome as used in the novel? The word that can replace meddlesome is simply interfering. So, interfering social science students. And according to Beans, the teacher claims to know everything. And you know when you're in school, there are some teachers that will want to know, claim to know everything, claim to know every topic, even the subject that doesn't concern them, they want to bring it up to show that, yes, they are boss, so that you give them some respect. So that was the type of teacher being her medicine, social studies teacher. And the dad, why were they waiting for dad? So the dad was a banker, he closes by 5 p.m. and gets home late. So, like, okay, dad has not come. So they were just doing their thing, waiting for dad to come. Now, how do you say good morning in French? It is simply bonjour. <laughs> bonjour. And that was uh, the story, uh, the question the Mendelssohn social studies teacher asked the class. Nobody could answer except Bint. So after Bint answered the question, Bint now replied, How do we say very good in French? And the teacher could not answer. He had to call another teacher to answer the question. And the teacher, and the correct answer is so that is how to say very good in French. And immediately the other teacher answered, Beans look at her reverentially, meaning she looked at her respectfully and in admiration. Wow, this is no book. So <laughs> that was it. And why did the students surround Beans and started clapping and singing around her? Simply because she asked a question. The teacher could not answer. She asked the question, the teacher could not answer. And you know, in school, once you see uh, a student who asks a question and the teacher could not answer, they see the person as, wow, very great, he has bright future, very intelligent. So even the teacher could not answer your question. So when the teacher has left the class, they are now singing around her, yes, scholar, go get, go get, go get, you know. So that was what happened there. And look at something else. The mom, goes to their room except uh, because, just for two reasons but that day she had to go there because of noise normally she go there to check whether they are keeping the room tidy or whether the, uh, the dishes are washed everywhere is clean and to keep them company now who was being teacher her social study medicine social studies teacher it was simply malam salihum now, how do you say goodbye until we meet again in French? And how did this sentence come about? The mom said, Bint, fine, your teacher could not answer your question, but he had to look for someone else to answer it. What if he had told you that this thing means very good in French? Would it have been better? And Bint says, no, that's not the answer. I know what that is. So that was how we brought about how do you say goodbye until we meet again in French? It is simply au revoir. That's how to say goodbye until you meet again in French. At least with the help of this novel, you know three things in French now. How to say good morning, bonjour, how to say uh, very good, c'est très bien. How to say that is very good in French, c'est très bien. Then how to say goodbye until we meet again, au revoir. So we move. <laughs> now, when they were in, in the room, the conversation, it got animated. So what does it mean 
or conversation to get animated. It simply means to get lively, to get interesting. Okay? That is what it means. And look at some questions from other chapters. University students are carefree. What does it mean? This simply means that university students, they behave the way they like. Nobody cares about anybody. Nobody even sends you. So you are on your own, on my own. You mind your business. I mind my business. I dress the way I like. I do what I like. So Umi told Oma, when I go to school, ah, students are carefree. Now, what was Umi's matriculation number? After the queue for registration, Umi went to HOD's office to collect the matriculation number. So the math number was simply UG0001. Now, what was Sama's physical appearance? Remember, we said that the story is centered about Sama, and it was Umi telling us the story of Sama. Now, according to Umi, what was Sama's physical appearance? She was fair complexion girl. Fair girl. Tall. Slim. And busty. Wow, she may be like me. I'm tall, fair complexion, I'm slim, but I'm not busty. Busty mean here, here, you know. So, that was it. Pretty girl. And what does Selma believe about lecturers? According to Selma, she believed that lecturers, if you are a guy, they need your money. If you are a girl, they want to ask you out on a date. That was what she believed, or that's what she believed about lecturers. And it is as a result of her experience in school. We can't blame her that much. Now, why was the HOD close to Umi? This is it. When Umi got to the HOD's number for math number, matriculation number, the HOD was so nice to her. Wow, how are you? Have you registered? Hope you are fine. She even said, ah, I want to use myself just to escape. The HOD said, go and use my toilet. So for a HOD to be that nice, say use my toilet. Ah, you know what I'm talking about. So she felt maybe the HOD want to ask her on a date. We are talking about Umi now, her own story. But at the end, the HOD didn't ask her on a date. She went out. So when she got to, she was so angry because she married when she gained admission. Umi now. She, she told her husband, see the HOD was just so close, nice, what nonsense is that? And what was the motive behind this? Because Sam already told them in the queue that when you are a boy, they want your money, you are a girl, they want to ask you out on a date. So she had that mindset that, okay, this lecturer wants to ask me on a date. This is why what you hear matters a lot. So not everything actually works in all cases. So give people benefit of doubt. Now, the HOD was close to Umi because the HOD is the husband's close friend. They are very close and it was the HOD who helped her to work her admission. So, the HOD seeing her, wow, she really gained admission. He was just being nice because of the family relationship, not because he wanted to ask her on a date. Who was the formidable vodka? Formidable vodka was simply the medicine man in the area. That is the formidable Botka. Where did the quiet one hear the police siren? It was Hakini's house. Now, when Umi came back to tell her husband about the experience at the HOD's office, the husband also told her about the quiet neighbor. The neighbor is very calm at work. He prays very well, holy, holy, look good. But at the end, he was caught. She kidnapped a young boy for a week. He and Zaki. So, Konai to kidnap a boy and he made money. He was even buying more things instead of the normal small small goods he used to buy. So when they called him to order, he tried to deny, but police came to arrest him. And they discovered that a baby, a boy had been kidnapped and in his own house. So now say, ah, as he say good rich, all these people they just be for me, holy, holy, good people. See now. You know this kind of talk. So that was what happened. Now where did the quiet one hear the police siren? It was Hakini's house. And Tale was the quiet one. The name of the quiet one was Tale. And he was guilty of which crimes? One, kidnapping. Two, armed robbery. And three, extortion. These were the crimes he was guilty of. And Tale and Zaki kidnapped the little boy for how long? One week. How much did the kidnappers demand? 
Kale and Zach did not be little boy and they demanded 1 million naira. Later, they reduced it to how much? To 250,000 naira. That was when <laughs> the uh, father of the boy now did that. This kidnappers are not serious. From 1 million naira to 250,000 naira. You are silly. That was what happened. The next question is, according to the novel, what is the full meaning of Emma? It's simply examination my practice. And there's something else you should know. It's EMEC. E-M-E-C. EMEC is an acronym for Exam my Practice and Ethics Committee. Exam my Practice and Ethics Committee. EMEC. That is where issues of exam my practice is being discussed, resolved, and offenders being penalized or given grace. What does note of salvation mean? <laughs> notes of salvation up in their school stand for cheat notes. In class, somebody writes something on the note and gives to you to use. So they call it cheat notes. But different schools have different names for notes of salvation. It's simply for most schools, they call it bomb. Say, ah, oh, they carry I bomb, oh. people they bomb. So carry notes to be solving to bomb. So when you bomb and you are caught, you may be bombed. So that is that for that. And who were Sama's roommates in the hostel? Obviously, Sama was given a hostel. At first, she did not want to stay in the hostel because she didn't know. She told me her roommates would not like her lifestyle or roommates may give her issue. But later, she loved the roommates. So, they were four in the room. Sama herself from the north. Tomiwa from the west. Specifically, Ibadan. Tomiwa was from Ibadan. Ngozi from Umuze in Imo State, Ngozi Imo State, and Ada from Benue State or Middle Bed. As she insisted, people called her place of bed. So she preferred that people should call her Ada from Benue State. <laughs> now, which hostel was Sama given? It was Queen Amina Hostel. It is the hostel for big girls, for half knee babes. In every school, you still have hostel for big girls for half knee babes. Where weekend you see bands, bands packed everywhere to carry girls to and fro school. Despite the fact that they were so pretty in the room, fine girls, to me were pretty, dark, good, all of them nice, uh, generous, they were still B students. B students simply means that they will graduate with second class upper. And it is also a very good result. Grades in school are first class. First class is first class, not first class lower or first class upper. So for a GPA of 5.0, 4.5 and above is first class. Then 3.5 and above, that is B students, 2.1, second class upper. Then we have 2.2, two, two, second class lower. Then we have third class. Tomiwa, one of Sama's roommates, was a lover of music, fashion, and entertainment. Ungozi, quiet and Calm, but very generous. Ngozi was the most generous in the room. She would cook and share for them. At that, where she came from, they eat rats. <laughs> so Sama and Tomiwa were Muslims, while Ada and Ngozi were Christians. So you see the rema I'm giving you, the, the, the bone. You need to jot down. Keep watching this video because a lot of information being given off. Trust me. Now, which school did Sama first gain admission to? Amadu Bello University, Zaria. Who were the men in Benz? Now, as you know, when you're a pretty girl and you see car, they will stop. If you're a fine girl, you gain admission. Ah, as you're walking on the way, you see fine boys. Sorry, boys, some Yahoo boys, some normal boys, they'll stop on the car. So, the men in Benz, they stop Sama on the way. And the names are Labaran and Habib. Habib was the owner of the car, he was a politician and also speaker in the state. Now, so far, chapter 1, 2, 3, 4 likely questions. I think this is specifically from chapter 5, the ones I just covered, 4. But chapter is not really a problem. What did Tomiwa's, where did Tomiwa's phone ring and who picked? The men in Benz, they asked for Sama's number. But Sama gave them her roommate's number to Miwa. So the phone rang 8 o'clock in the morning and it was Habib who called. And Habib gave Sama a ride from Kwagila. That was where she saw Sama and gave her a ride. 
the men on Ben. So Kwagila, this is a potential question. How much did Habib give to Tomiwa? When to, uh, Habib called Sama, Tomiwa picked, then uh, to, uh, Sama even like that her name was Tomiwa. So to, they, they have to agree, okay, Tomiwa, you go instead of me. So Tomiwa went out with the men in Benz. So he gave them 50,000 Naira, 20,000 Naira for uh, Tomiwa herself, 10,000 Naira for each of the roommates, which is 50,000 Naira in total. And they bought food, suya, chicken, and provision. It was so much. So it almost left to quarrel because Sama was not jealous. So she was the one that brought the lead. So you now went out, now you are now enjoying life. And the other roommates, Ngozi, they were like, she you were the one that gave them to me was number. And you're the one who says she used to follow them. So if not that she agreed to go, we will not be enjoying now. So let's enjoy and forget problems. So later, Tomiwa and Habib, they were dating. Now, how did the relationship with her friends or roommates contribute to her leaving school? She slept with Habib to get the money. So, in summary, Sama did my practice. Bomb in the hall. So she was caught. So she feed my practice phone. And they were to rusticate her. So she was looking for help. She went to meet Habib, one of the man in Benz, for cash. And the man said that, what do I get in return? So at the end, they did something. So and Habib gave Sama 300,000 Naira. So in that 300,000 Naira, Sama was not looking for somebody to block the head of the Emek. But the person she was referred to was the wrong person. Kabil was the wrong person they referred her to. That one took Sama to hotel. She, he also wanted to, but Sama refused. At the end, he collected, he collected 100k so that Sama won't get rusticated. But getting to the panel, Sama discovered that her, uh, Kabil is not even a doctor. He was just a, an ordinary laboratory uh, technologist, not a doctor or in the panel. So she was surprised. And Kola was the one who gave Sama the note of salvation. So Sama exposed Kola that he gave me the bomb. So they expect Sama and Kola. Kola was the best student in the class. So at the end, Kabib and Labaran, they collide to pay Habib and Labaran, they collide to pay Kabil, the lab guy, back for what he did. He was a gambler, this Kabil. So he gambled and he won cash. That should be 500k or so. Then Kabib sent Zaki, who was the kidnapper earlier, to treat the fuck up. So the guy beat uh, Kabil, collected the money, gave back to Labaran. And Labaran, he did. He did not give Habib back the money because he felt Habib may not have given Sama the money for free. He knows his friend. And he also felt that Habib doesn't need the money. So, and he also felt that Habib will not know that Kabib will have that kind of money. So that's just a summary of almost like two chapters. <laughs> now, let's look at something. What was Sama's last paper? It was moral philosophy. So that was where she cheated and collected notes of salvation. According to the novel, she wrote other books very well, apart from this. What does every lawbreaker try to do? When caught, every lawbreaker, they try to find their way around. What was the established law of Emma? In the school, the law of examination and practice is that you simply pack your belongings and leave the school. That is the law. Who was the only one who could help Sama? Answer, Professor Dabo, the one she disrespected in 100 level. He is a professor of biological sciences. So, Professor Dabo is one of those in, in this MEC disciplinary committee for exam and practice. He's the only one who could have helped Sama. But what happened? Sama went to his office and the guy tried to, like, fine girl, I love you. Can we uh, go out? Like, try to ask her out. Sama disrespected him, told him the story and said, like, no sense, old man. They say you are the most nice person in the school, you don't talk to girls, but you see me now, you are confused. So Sama finished the man. At the end now, he discovered that that is the only man that could help her. So how much did Kabib scam Sama? 100k. Sama felt her stomach sink. On what occasion did it happen? When she realized that the only person that could help her is Dabo. Who was Mohammed Kabib? Laboratory technologist who disguised himself as a doctor and in charge of Disciplinary Committee, EMEC. Ngozi asked why Sama's people bury their dead so horridly. What was the response? 
One, we do not bury people, we bury corpse. As soon as a person is pronounced dead, his personality automatically ceases with his last expiry of breath. We were anxious for them to get wet when they were in, but the moment they die, our anxiety ends and their own begins. As creatures bound for a render's world with their creator, the more they delay, the more anguish, the more would be unleashed on the family. Funeral delay does not have advantages on anyone. It does not help the dead. The body will begin to decompose after a while. Meanwhile, Ungazi's people, they bury their dead very, they delay, they will put the person in the mortuary so that one, the person is confirmed to be dead, they will confirm if this person is actually dead, and two, to allow more people to pay their last respect. So that is the contrast between Sama's people and Ungazi's people, meaning like Muslims and most Christians. What, which social media was Salim? Salim was the man who had bad social media experience and he's the person or he was the person who proposed to Sama at the end because after Sama's father died, she repented and she became a good person. So Salim proposed to him. But Salim was on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, WhatsApp, Bado, to go, WeChat. So what does he do on Facebook? He looked for fine, fine guests to chat with. So he had two bad experiences. One, they almost collected his car. He went to see fine guests. And the fine girl organized boys to collect his car. But thank God he was able to escape. And secondly, he saw a very pretty girl. They're trying to see the girl now. He discovered that the girl is ugly, not as fine as these guys online. So those were his experience. So that is it on top questions from the life changer Nobel recommended for jump. So this is nice. So um, an important resource is the Flastener CBT app for more questions for other subjects or videos. Another important resource is the videos I released earlier on the summary, chapter by chapter summary, and words used in the passages and analysis. I have shared a link to that. So that is it. If you love this channel, why not subscribe for more amazing videos? Let me know how you feel using the comment box. And feel free to check out my already released videos because you find them very, very helpful.